The mother of all shows is finally on the magic. Hi, I'm Slick Rick. I'm Sam YG. And I'm Tony Tony. And we're the, the real mother... Why, what are you doing? Who are This is Jojo the Love Survivor. I'm the real mother... No, no, no. Not those kinds of mothers. We're talking about real moms. Hosting a show for moms and those who love moms. Ah, ayos mo kasi adlib mo. Dinawin mo kasi. The Mother Show. Hosted by FM Radio's most famous moms. Ricky, Andy, and Delamar. Every Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. On the station that gives you the most complete... Radio Experience Magic 89.9 Magic 89.9 Salt and Pepper from 1994 A song called What a Man at 10, 11 You're still on The Mother Show My name is Ricky I'm Andy This is Delamar uh, Okay <laughs> Here we go So we started on a high note <laughs> Let's keep it there With the new bed Wow. Bamboo oh. flutes. I like it. No, okay. So it's like been I'm a entering week. a spa. <laughs> exactly. Hey, exactly. Like bago. I know. What the? I know it though. You know what? It feels like a Hawaiian themed. Ah, interesting. You mentioned Hawaii. Why? Hawaii. No, sorry. So let's let, let's talk <laughs> about. <laughs> I didn't get the joke. <laughs> about, sorry. Never mind. Oh my I'm thinking. Yes, Ricky. So, Andy, what yeah. did you do over the week? Me? Yes. Um, I had a lot of meetings and I was able to finally leave. Because, you know, I'm so attached to Olivia that I think I'm the one who looks for her You're more the than she looks mom. for her. I'm the clingy Aww. mom. Mm-hmm. So, I think this week I achieved something okay. by, you know, like... The whole day I had meetings and I just left her with my mom. Okay. So, parang for me, Were that's you okay? an achievement already. I Did was you okay. Cry? Yes. <laughs> Did you cry in traffic? No, but, but the thing is, my mom sent me like a photo of her okay. and they were eating and she fell asleep. And there was a video and I was, I was tearing up already. Aww. Imagine! I know, I know. Right. I know. Are you tearing up <laughs> now? <laughs> she is. Oh my she god. Really I know, is. I told you, I'm really so, I'm so attached. There are real oh tears. Oh my god. Stop it. Andy! You what can are you tell. gonna do when she, uh, sobrang HD ng camera natin? You I know. Can tell. Wait, what are you gonna do when she starts dating? No, matagal oh. pa naman yon. But like, oh. for example, like my friends are saying, "Hey, let's go to Bali. Let's uh, it's the Bachelor of somebody." I was like, "Um, I'll just no." <laughs> yeah, it's so hard oh, for me. I, I think I'm at that stage where I'm trying to like make. I mean, she's independent already, but yeah. I think I'm the one who's not independent. Well, without that's what her. that's what she's gonna do. She's yeah. gonna pull over to the other side, which yes. is I'm independent, mom. Mm-hmm. Get a hold of yourself. Yeah. That's what she's gonna do. And and this is your cue to make baby number two. Not yet. It's just like, <laughs> you know what? If it happens, oh, why you? If you miss being Speaking attached of baby to number two, are you pregnant, Ricky? Of course not. Grab it. Grab me on question. <laughs> like, are you it's pregnant, not. Ricky? Are you pregnant? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not still, that you know. Not, not that, that I. You, yeah. <laughs> no, because at the moment. Oh, I see. Uh, I see. I okay. get it. See? Okay. Okay. So yeah, I am. I get it. I'm, okay. You're sure. I know. I know. And I'm not <laughs> ready because I'm still going through the newborn phase. So lately, I've been losing sleep. Why? Because because Calix can't sleep at night, and I think it's because of teething. His do oh they do that? Oh my gosh! Yes. I so think they the toss hardest, and turn. Yeah. Yes. And then you have to rock them to yes. sleep. And once you put them down, they get up again. Yes. Ah. But you have to. You know? Have you seen teeth coming out, breaking into the surface? It Lapa. is really violent. I mean, yes. it hurts. I imagine. I, yeah. I imagine. Yeah. So imagine your kid is. Aww. Sometimes it's just not one tooth. Like it's like three. Right? All at the same time. Yeah, Parker missed the six month mark and I was like, maybe he doesn't have teeth. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> sabay sabay. Okay, cause cause Calix is ten months and he has none yet. Yeah, but that's alright. That's alright. So sabay sabay. Might be. No, not it depends. Might be. It really depends. How Do you see any know? Okay, one he'll start to drool much more. Okay. Second, there might be some fever. Okay. Yeah. And then the irritability goes high. Yeah. And yon, they can't sleep. It's at <gasps> night, they toss and they turn because it's coming out. That's yeah. a bone, man. And it's breaking your skin. So it's gonna hurt. Uh, but you know what? There are remedies for that. Like I was yeah. saying, there's teething there, gel. There's yes. also like a tablet that you can, that melts in your mouth actually, that kind of numbs the gums. Oh. I'm not ever the harsh mom. I nako anak. Yan, that's only the you. beginning of so many mu- so many pains in life. So get used to it. <laughs> I'm not gonna disguise that pain. You feel I know. it. You yeah, feel, feel it. it and survive it. But the thing is, you also feel it with your lack of sleep. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, 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 okay lang. 
Okay. Fun naman to cuddle. Diba? It's so fun. That's to what I. It's dude, the best. are you scared of like, uh, like really falling deep into sleep and not knowing that you're squishing the baby? Because <gasps> that that's one of the things that they talk about. Yeah. That's why some people don't believe in co-sleeping. I do. Mm-hmm. I believe in co-sleeping. It's the best, isn't it? I love it. I love it. You turn and then you can kiss them. Mm-hmm. You turn and then you can smell their, you know, their head. And then there's an occasional foot to the face. Yon. And you're like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, Wait yeah, till yeah. they get Why really older. That's the thing. But you, Del, I know Cooper's sick, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm. That's that's my big thing this this week. Because we we came from out of town. We had an okay. out of town trip, mm-hmm. and we enjoyed ourselves. And then coming home, he I noticed he was like really really low on energy so I thought Mm -hmm. maybe you know he just got dizzy in the trip it was a road trip but then his fever kept spiking no going down so what was and then I saw rashes so I knew already like that's dengue right Uh and I was like no so I bring him to the ER and I was breastfeeding in the van. I had him. Grab it. And I had full a full day of meetings. Yeah. I had to cancel. I told them, you know, I'm really sorry, but my son needs me. Mm-hmm. So I bring him to the ER and I hold him because they're going to draw blood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And he was, I, I was holding him and I could feel his heart like. Duh, 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 duh. Mm. And he said to me, Mom, I don't want. At the last minute, he goes, I don't want. I go, you have no choice. You have to do this. Mm. So we hold him down. Mm-hmm. And then he goes, as soon as the needle goes in, he's like. Ah! And then he goes, oh, that's not so bad. But, oh, oh, my gosh. But when they changed the vial, the thing, yeah. oh, no. then it hurt. And then okay. he started crying again. So after all of this, I bring him to the elevator and I go, so uh, was the nurse right that it was really just like an ant bite? He said, no. I go, what is it? What did it feel like? Like a knife. <laughs> <laughs> like it was the oh my goodness. Like a knife. That's what he said. But until now, you know, I'm on the show, but my mind, it, half of my of head course. is yeah, yeah, you know, at home because it's still fluctuating. Of course. But... The test results were negative. Mm-hmm. So they say this is viral and it's really going around. So protect your kids. Yeah. Yeah. It's scary. And please don't let your kids go to school if they're sick. Yeah. Because it's going to get the other kids sick as Agree. well. Yeah. Please. I yeah. can't speak for experience because... My son isn't going to school yet. No, but sometimes there there's, there are rules in school, right? Yes. Like if you have colds, yeah. if you have runny nose, or, yeah. you know, the basic things like that. Mm-hmm. Like if you think, you know, your kid's sick. Yeah. So don't bring them to school. What about you? What happened That's to scary. you today? I mean, this week. Um, Just that. The lack of sleep. The teething. <laughs> you know, as soon as you become a mother, you're never going to sleep until and they're married. No, and have but their this own was like... Outrageously, no every hour he would toss oh and he my, would yeah. like be up on all fours right away, <laughs> all drowsy. <laughs> and then he has this thing where if he wants to be carried, he'll just plop on my chest. Like, and just uh, relax yeah. there. And then that's a signal Cute. for me to like rock him and then he's just gonna doze off again. So it was that. And of course, you do know that at some point, your son is going to be as tall as your husband and you will not be able to carry him. So you have to enjoy this moment that you're carrying him because he's going to be a grown up someday. He's yeah. going to be that tall siguro mga two years from now. <laughs> because he's already tall. He's so tall, yeah. right? He and is he's heavy. Tall. Yeah. The cuddles are worth it, guys. It's okay. I know. We'll see whose jeans he gets, actually, if it's yours or your husband's. Yeah. And you have a question. Yeah. Is, is Olivia still cuddly? Because I just Yeah, want, very okay, much. Okay, Cooper is five and I tell you, when I hug him, he's he's not <gasps> a kid anymore. Yeah, the oh. cuddliness goes away. Like, he's a kid. Yeah. So, every, his arms and his legs are long and mm-hmm. when you when you hug him, he's full of bones. Like, ah, unlike before, yeah. there was, you know, ba- a healthy amount of baby fat. Yeah. But now, he's like, he's a kid. And then he kind of like, he doesn't like it He's anymore. at that stage already? Wow. Well, he's a 40-year-old and a 5-year-old body. <laughs> yeah, grabe. Oh, the way he thinks, right? You know, we should have him in the show like one time. We, like interview him, right? We should have a segment. I Cooper's should show- corner. Uh, and then he'll just or like, be like ask Cooper, right? I should. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That would be so fun. I asked him, I go, oh, last Friday, I go, babe, I have to go to work today. Mm-hmm. And then without looking at me, he goes, oh yeah, you have to do the radio. It's a Friday. <gasps> no oh, kidding. I'm not going to factor shit. But, you know, I'm not going to tell you, but I'm telling you. I don't like it because you're away from me. Gosh. <laughs> we should make him talaga, part of the show. 
and it would be so fun. Proxy ko siya if I can't make it. Yes. I'll yeah, just, yeah. You know, in my stead, here's my son. Game. Use him. <laughs> Use Game. him. Gusto ko yan. It's uh, 1021. Um, just in case uh, you're tuning in just now. My name is Ricky. I'm Andy. This is Delamar. And this is The Mother Show. You can get in touch with us. Tell us how your weekend went. If you have any questions, it's 6310899. Or you can listen to us online. It's www.magic899.fm. And if you have questions, you can also tweet us at... At Mother Show 899. It is going to be a, uh, well, hopefully it'll be as exciting as the last two I shows. just hope we have interesting callers. I, yeah. I, I, that's really I for so me. Too. That's so, that's what brings the show, you know, to a different level. <laughs> Are we going to go end. get callers later? We're going to go get callers in just a bit. But first, Station Guy asked for a song, which is which means that, you know, we have to play it out or else we get fired. <laughs> Dirty <laughs> We use our jobs. Oh, my gosh. He, I, why this true one? True story. Okay. You're on The Mother Show. <laughs> Here you go, Station Guy. That one's for you and Sync in a song called Pop. No idea why. It's 1024. It's uh, the Mother Show. My name is Ricky. I'm Andy. This is Delamar. And uh, we want you guys to call us up 6310899. Sorry, can I just say something? Did yes. you know that I met Justin Timberlake? No way. Yes, before they made it big. The Philippines was the last stop before they, they were touring uh, in Germany. They were virtual what? unknowns. They came here, and then uh, I was. We were making fun of the whole band, okay. and we we're like, "Oh, uh, you made f- you yeah." JC, JC looks Chazay. like Chazay. 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 yeah, looks like a Picasso. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, he's actually very good. Oh, no, no, sorry, Frankenstein. It's Lance Bass in person who looked like a, a Picasso painting. So we were making fun, and you know, there's God. Justin had this. Really curly blonde, hair, yeah. super curly hair, and you're the like, "The pancit canton hair." Yes, the pancit canton <laughs> hair. And so you're like, oh, "Okay, okay, fine. It's a boy band." And then they make it big, and then you're like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a boy band!" <laughs> <laughs> but but then when they broke out into the scene, we didn't know they were going to be in sync. Yeah. yeah, there were a lot of boy bands, right? Mm-hmm. They really pulled away from the pack, and you know, and Justin Timberlake left everybody in the Rubbish. dust. Lesson learned. Well, when you're this old. <laughs> when you're this when old. You're this old. Grabe. Uh-huh. But we didn't know that that's what yeah. that moment meant. I'm sure everybody has that story, right? Like, you know, classmate ko lang siya. And then mommy has sikat na pala. Abby Arenas. Yeah. The, the beauty queen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I worked in a fast food with her. <gasps> yes. Claudine Barreto. I, I was in a, a play workshop, a summer workshop with her before she made a big. And then they become. Me these also, Pia Wurchback. She was also ah, like. Uh, parang we, had, we did this workshop together when we were like 13, 14. Mm-hmm. And then oh, so there. You, did, did she look like that at 13? She was very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, she was very Sabaga. pretty already. Oh, like, oh, she, no. she had that. Um, you know, like, talagang. Oomph. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I, I have no interesting stories to tell. I don't think I've... Don't think I've been going this is such a sad... This okay. is so sad. 1026. Well, hey, let's find out if, if the callers have anything interesting. Right. If they've, they've been with any anyone interesting. Magic, hello? 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 Hi. Hello. hello. I think this is Jeline who's calling. Jeline? I think we lost her. Oh, no. We lost her. Okay. I just want to say hello to my brother who's li- who's tuned hi, in. Brother ah, hi, brother. <laughs> hi, Mars. Hello. Hey, also saying hi to Jane and her office mates who are listening. Hi, Thank Jane. you very hi, much. Guys. Uh six three one zero eight nine nine. Sorry, Jeline. Um, if we uh if we missed, we talk yeah. too much and uh, we lost. I know. <laughs> just you know, that's how mothers are I'm when they're in a flock. Magic. Hello. Hello. Hi. Who's this? Hi. Good morning. This is Beth. Hi. What? Beth. What? What's your, What's your name? name? Uh, I'm so happy. Good so, morning. Hi. Um, this is Beth. Yes, I, I'm on air now. Yes, yes you are. Yeah, I just want to say good morning to everyone. I'm actually, um, we've been very excited. I'm here in the office right now, so I'm a bit <laughs> I waiting. can tell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm here in the office right now, and our mommy friends and I were waiting for the show since day Cute. one. Listen to this. Aww. And then, um, I'm just so happy to see the the union of you three. The union. The, the union. union. Did yes. we just get married? Do you <laughs> take me as your... And Andy. <laughs> yeah. I've been listening to Belle since I was like college. See? Oh my gosh, Belle. <laughs> you know, yes. I, 
I was gonna ask, how Look. old are you, <laughs> <laughs> um, No, no, don't answer now. It's okay. <laughs> Beth, Beth, fresh grad, yeah, lang. I, Beth, um, Beth, Beth, I, listen. I, I, Beth, I, shush. <laughs> Beth, listen. I'm trying to pass my myself off as a millennial mom. <laughs> don't say you've been listening to me. Yes, we're all millennial moms, but I'm. Um, yes, um, now I'm a mother of one. Mm. I have a two-year-old son, and I've, I'm not actually super millennial, medyo mga late millennials na. But I'm also l- listening to Ricky and Andy way back college. Actually, college was... Ah, ha, ha. Andy was my... Um, <laughs> way back. Oh my God. Fresh grad way back. Siya. Way back. <laughs> Sabi niya way back. Okay. Andy was my schoolmate oh, in hi. college. Oh, hi. Yes. Yes. So, mga, oh my gosh, oh, Beth. Beth, 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 Beth. Beth, Beth, Beth. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, I have a question. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> She's awesome. Yeah. So how was she like in school? You know, because on the radio, people have a persona of sorts, you know. This is true. I want to know um, how she I'm, was. I'm a, um, two years um, uh, to the higher badge than uh, Andy. Okay. Ayaw sabihin yung older yeah. to and the so higher badge. Yeah. 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 I kind of very pretty. It's two. Very pretty until now. And then one time, you know, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, Andy. I'm nervous. Uh, I went to the restroom oh, and then there was Andy. She was oh. looking at the mirror. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I look, I look like a kawawa beside this beautiful Oy, lady. Oy, maganda kasi siya. <laughs> yeah, it's, she's very pretty, true. she's very down to earth. And then, she is. Yeah, and until oh, now, I'm following... Wait, Beth, talaga si Andy, she's I'm scared. Really quiet. I'm just waiting for you to say, like, maybe something, something wrong. Bad, but, right. No, okay. but you know, she's very down to earth. And then, until, this way, um, I was surprised to find out that she already had a daughter, Olivia. We're, they're of the same age. Yeah, same age. My yeah. son and Olivia oh. are of the same age, almost. Okay. Ayan, so I'm following her. And then, now I'm so happy. And then, Ricky, I'm, I also, um, I've seen how the proposals, your oh. wedding, oh. everything. So I'm very happy to be with you guys. Congratulations. Oh, thank, thank you. For you. This. Thanks, Beth, Were you really for surprised when you got proposed to? No. You knew? There was... I knew. You knew? He tried to pull it off. And then when he... Sorry, Betha. Sure, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. Go. No, yeah, because he planned this whole thing. Um, and uh, he he thought he was going to pull it off. And Martin is horrible at surprises. Like, he can't keep a secret if his life depended on it. He could not. Yeah. So, um, he, but I'd he, be scared of you, too. What? Like, because I would feel like it's hard to, it's hard to hide anything from you. You have those right? eyes that I pierce know, through, yeah. right, Andy? Yeah. It is hard yeah. to sneak yeah. anything past Parang me. You're, you're, you seem gentle because maybe you're tiny, yeah. but like no, 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 no parang, that's not the, what I get. No, from but her. the way she looks yeah. at you, right? Parang you're gonna melt. No, I'm, wow. Parang no, parang parang, ka, pero you're you're gentle. I don't I'm know. I'm not getting a. I'm getting like a. No, a it's a demon. What is good? No, I mean it's good. It's good. Okay. No, no. Let's just say fierce, diba? No, fierce, sorry, Beth. Because uh, sorry, Beth. Uh, we're kind of <laughs> yeah, like you know, psychoanalyzing <laughs> each other. Uh, no, because <laughs> Andy is tall compared to me and Ricky. Okay. Yeah. So Ricky and I are smaller, more yes. petite. Yeah. So when you're petite. You learn to kind of like have yeah. a persona that's big because people really will push you around. That's the way of the world. Yeah. You know, they think you're small, they think you're weak, they're going to push you around. Ha! So as a as a small girl, yeah. you kind of develop this thing that you go, yeah, I may be small, but you cannot push me around. Yeah. Right? So what we lack in height, we make up for in superpowers. Something so, like yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so basically, that's what so we're just trying to say. Okay. Anyway, so how did you find out? So it's na. Sorry, Betha. It's okay. Do you want to put down the phone or you want to like hang around? No, I want to hang around. Okay, yeah, Beth. Yeah. So, so he uh, he enlisted the help of my mom because we oh. were going to this to this parang uh, farm for the weekend. <laughs> and, Is it and the saucy farm in Batangas? Yes. Uh-huh. So anyway, uh, my mom she popped in she popped in my room while I was packing and she was looking through my bag. She's like, "So what are you packing? What are you gonna wear?" She never does that. Oh, uh, so, I'm going to so immediately I was like, "Interesting." And yeah. she's listening right now, Memphis. She's probably Hi, like Memphis. laughing and crying. Wait, at your the same mom's time. name is Memphis? I call her Memphis. Oh, but that's not her name. No, that's not her name. Okay. So, that's anyway. so cool, though. Yeah, right? Memphis. Wait, you call her by... I call her Memphis. Not mom? No. And she my dad is Pingo. Pringo. Pingo. Pingo. They're so hip. I kind of call my mom also, like, hey, what's up, Rose? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you know, especially Liar. my younger sisters. 
Hey Rose. I mean, it's wow. just a joke. Ah, okay. It's just a joke. Oh, like, okay. But not not like in public. Because uh, when we're like in the family mm, gathering. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Okay, go. Focus. Anyway, focus. This so, is Ricky's engagement story. So she does guys that, right? She hovers and yeah. and everything. So we go to the farm and nothing happens. And then the second day, he uh, he he. Implores me to take a nap. Implore, huh? He implores Implore. me. So I took a nap, and then he said, "Let's go to dinner because uh, I think they're leading us to a special place in the farm because I arranged a special dinner." So the gates of of this this really nice villa open, and we don't stay there. So the villa opens, and there's petals everywhere, and you know it's a candlelit dinner, and he's there with a scrapbook, and there's music in the background, and it's 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 he he has a speech, but I'm told later on that. He forgot it. He forgot everything. And <laughs> as soon just, as yeah, he, yeah, as soon as the, the yeah. The, and I cry, even though I anticipated it, right? I'm crying, and then we have dinner, and then I bust out a letter that was in my pocket, and I give it to him, and the letter starts, "Dear Martin, if you're reading this, it's probably because we're already engaged." Oh, and then it goes on. Wait, wait, wait. When did you write it? I wrote it. Why are you writing it? I know. No, no, no. Wait, but when? As soon as I. As soon as I had the inkling that it was gonna you happen, wrote. so what was in yeah. the letter? Yeah, what did what you was do? Written? Can you share? It was not like I, I told the story of my mom. I told the story. Okay. <laughs> I told the story. Parang yung letter niya. Gusto ba ng tissue? Hindi yung yung letter niya parang ano? Book in the basic. Oh, 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 oh yeah. my book in letter. <laughs> It's a, and then I, I I I I told him the story of how when we would hold hands lately he would always sort of fondle the yeah. ring and fondle measure, what fondle fondle, 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 the, fondle what? the ring finger uh, the, the finger, ring finger the because how obvious is that kasi de ba yung totoo do no but if, you know Who just does? the history of Martin and Ricky they've been together since college yes for maybe is like he your ten first years no. boyfriend. No, ten no. years, deba. It's been yes, actually, it's been eleven years. We've been together eleven years. <laughs> My goodness! I know. Wow. Sorry, Beth. Are you okay? I'm still here. <laughs> okay. 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 Cheese for this. No, no, we Thanks, love it. Beth. Oh, no, nice. so yeah. Thank you so much, Beth. Though, yes. for calling. And then, is, is it okay? Um, I just want to ask something from Andy. Okay, mm-hmm. go. Yeah, because Andy. Not I, money, I, huh? Sorry, yes. <laughs> oh, sorry, quick lang. I for Del, pala. for Del, I have admired how strong you are. I've seen your journeys in life, and then I really appreciate it. And then now, now that you have a, a baby girl, yo, I'm so happy. Now, thank you. And then for Andy, naman, I have a question because okay, I, I I saw in your Instagram post. I've been following it all your YouTube videos. Thank you. Thank I you, saw it that uh, you have weaned Olivia when she reached two yes. years old. Yeah. Um, I'm still breastfeeding my um 25 months old baby boy. So, since it's more than a, a two years already, I'm wondering um, what could be a very good weaning process, or do I just let him until he likes to breastfeed? Well, it's really up to you. Are you ready to give up breastfeeding? Yun nga, the challenge is yeah, I'm not the one who's exactly. ready. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. me kasi, I, I was like in the middle. I wanted to try. Well, I tried when... So, okay. Just to give you a story, I weaned Olivia before she turned two. So basically, she was like 23 months. Okay. And I tried weaning her when she was 20 months and she wasn't ready. Mm. Like, she was crying mm. all over the place. Aww, so I yeah. tried again um, when she was two and I started weaning because um, she would fall asleep um, in my breast. Like, she would fall okay. asleep breastfeeding. So what I did was that I would remove um, the nap time feeding. Mm-hmm. So oh, okay. I would, I would. So during nap time, um, I would just offer her a lot of milk, a lot of water, okay. fill her up with solids, and ah. then you know, para, para when she's laying down already, she's not gonna you know look, for, look for the boob yeah. already. Abrupt. Yeah. So I, I, you have to do it slowly. Yeah, I'd do it slowly. And I started with you know trying to let her fall asleep without the boob. Okay. That's it. Because yeah. okay. that's when they really look for it, right? But yes, most of when them, they are in that where they're lying beside you, they smell yeah, your chest. Yeah, yes. And like, and eventually I'd be like Olivia, you know, mommy's uh, mommy's um, breast, apparently your mama's daddy has like a wound. So mm. you know, I would explain. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, it's oh painful. My. You know, I would make all these excuses, and then she, and then later on she would um, she would she wouldn't sleep already with a boob, and then she would just eat a lot of solids. And then one day when she when she would see my boob, she would just laugh at it. 
Mm. That's so they get, yeah, I yeah. It takes it. time, and then sometimes you know when they want it, you just have to talk to them. Mm. You have to explain, and then there's a little bit of crying, maybe five minutes, but it will die down. So you have to really be strong. You have to you have to know, and you have to be ready for the whole weaning. Because when she said no to the boob, I was the one not ready. I was the one who Aww. cried. Are you crying now? Did you feel Don't rejected? Don't let me cry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I know it sounds uh, silly, but yeah. it it is what moms think yeah. deep down, right? Well, you know, uh, Beth, there are so many uh, philosophies and and ways to approach weaning. Yeah, a lot of people feel like weaning should be led by the child. Mm-hmm. Once they're ready, they will let go. Yeah, and then there are um, some people who feel like, no, I have a life to lead after this. I've given you the boob for two years. Yeah. Now it's time yeah, to go. It's my freedom. Yeah. yeah. So it depends. I would say. Maybe read your baby's signals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. is he ready? Are you ready to let go? That thing is. Uh, I think that's the challenge. I'm not yet ready, but I have to be mentally ready and prepared yes, for it. You have. Yes, you have. They were saying that parang put some sealy on your breast. I don't think <gasps> I have to do that. Wait a minute. I think I, you yeah. know that's what my some mother-in-law people. said also. Yeah. Like, yeah. Put some yeah. no, no, sealy, like Correct. vinegar. Oh, oh. That's gonna cause like trauma ginger. to the baby. But there, there were rules like saying um, don't re- uh, don't offer and don't refuse. Like if, yeah. if the baby wants it, then don't refuse. But if yes. it's not looking for it, don't, don't offer. offer. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Because yeah, so you're letting the the natural flow of things uh-uh. and you have yeah. to understand how huh, the weaning is not just a month sometimes it's three months it's a process yeah it's a whole process so it mm-hmm. begins with baby steps and then eventually but also because when you're weaning you find out that it's not anymore about food it's the comfort they find yeah. in the act of it so Correct. they're not hungry because they're already eating solids yeah. it's a pacifier a, now yeah they just associate it with being close with or safety. like associate it with Yon. sleeping sleeping yeah. oh Perfect. There's so many topics, and I look forward to uh, listening to you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so Beth. much. Thank you so much, and have a great, great morning. You All too. Right. Bye. Have a great day. Thank Happy you so much weekend. for coming. Happy, Happy weekend. weekend. It's ten forty. <laughs> hey, speaking of Celi and everything, yeah. did you guys hear of cabbage? What about cabbage? Like it helps you. Wean also your child from really? cabbage. Yeah, that's why I was like, really. And then I looked it up, and yeah, there are actually. But, so wait, so what, what do you the do? Process? So you put you put like a cabbage sheet, is uh-huh. it like a, a leaf, leaf yeah. inside like your bra, and you keep it there throughout the day. No, but how yeah, does then? it? How does it? What does it do? Does it? I don't lessen? know. Is it the scent that the kids don't like? What Probably. is it? Probably. Pero may amoy ba yung cabbage? So wala. Wala, wala, di ba? It's not like sila, like it's whoa, my gosh, it's sila. But yeah, cabbage. And if any, where if did you any find moms, that? Is, you know, that, is, is that a myth? Let's research about it. It was. A, it, That's so funny. I heard it from somebody, and she sounded so sure of it. So I looked it up, <laughs> and it's actually online that cabbage really helps. Okay, just because it's online doesn't mean it's true. Exactly. So, oh, but who's saying it? But like it? the forums, they're all talking they're about talking it. They're talking like, yeah, about cabbage. cabbage. Weird. So you, you know what? You just wear it the whole day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Isn't understand. And then, you, and then you feel like Venus rising from the foam. Uh, like you know, if somebody has like experienced it yeah, or has done please, it, can you call us up? Because I us just want to understand. Know. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Right? Here we go. Hello. Um, Magic, hello. Hi. Um, hello. Oh, hi. Hi, what's your name? Hi. Good morning. Uh, this is Francis. Francis, have you used cabbage before? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I thought. Yeah. Sorry. Hi, fr- uh, hi guys. Hi, hi. Uh, Andy, R- Ricky, and Alamar. Um, uh, to tell you honestly, this is my first time to call. Uh, I used to call um, Good Times and the PNO, but this is the first time I got really late. So, For work? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, not really. Well, like, um, I filed a leave. Uh, oh, okay. Quote unquote. Leave, so <laughs> but that's okay. I just finished um, bringing my kids to school. Yeah, um, yeah. Just uh, would like to actually ask from moms because yeah, to tell you honestly, again, this is my first time. Uh, I'm a single parent. I'm a single dad, um, and I actually have two kids. Uh, sorry, I'm driving right now. Sorry. Go ahead. And um, there is this. Um, event that I'm actually coming uh, I mean going I mean two weeks from now but I actually am required to bring only one kid uh, both of my kids are like one of which is uh, my daughter is actually five years old and my younger kid is 
three years old. And my dilemma right now is I actually don't know how to explain what to the other person like that I can bring. Who to bring in one. this event? Yeah. Is, sorry, okay. What is the event? Um, actually, it's um, a play. It's a play. Uh, okay. Where single parents are like... Uh, it's uh, it's more of like empowering or like a, a single parent um, support group. Okay, so, uh, so yeah. sorry, I have but, a few questions. Bef- so you're sure. going to bring just one child, and yes. who are you bringing? Um, Your favorite, actually, obviously. Uh, well, <laughs> See, there's mom, no yeah. favorite. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, that's a topic. Huh? That's yeah, a topic just we're kidding. gonna have. <laughs> You're, you pick your favorite, and, and that's who gets to go. Okay, wait, wait. wait so, so, who are you bringing? The older one or the younger one? The younger one, my son. Yeah. Why? Uh, um, because I, well, basically, number one, um, he's the younger one, and he, he's just three years old, and I think I could leave my five-year-old daughter together with my yaya um, alone at home. Ah, so, so you feel okay. more comfortable leaving the older child with the yaya. Okay, and then taking yes. her. Okay, so your yes. question is, what I, is your I, question? I, at, right, I mean, at this very moment, I still don't know how to explain to my daughter, especially she wants, well, she wants us to be complete always uh, during malls, during mm. going to church. Uh, you know, whenever we're really going outside, especially on the weekend. So, um, that's my dilemma. <laughs> As a mom, I mean, how would you be able to like explain to the other kid that, hey, you can go to this, but I would need to bring your brother like that. So, I don't know. Just, um, just like some other's perspective, yeah. What do you think, Del? Uh, first you, of you all, have the three kids. <laughs> no, first of all, kudos to you because yeah, a single dad taking care of the kids, you know, without the mom mm-hmm. there, is uh, we know how that feels because mm-hmm. a lot of single moms are more single moms than mm-hmm. there are single dads. So, good job, good on you. Here's oh, what thank I think. You. Um, because I I told you I don't like to shield children from the realities of life. Mm -hmm. So, Mm. it cannot be that you will always be together. There will always be a time when one of the children cannot be taken to the mall or taken to a party or taken to a play. And part Mm -hmm. of your job as a parent is to equip the child to learn about the realities of life. And once they understand that hindi pwedeng palagi tayong magkasama. So, today, ikaw kasama ko. Next time, Siya ang kasama ko. And you mm. just have to deal with that. That is, I think that's part of making sure that you have a well rounded child, that they're not spoiled. Because life is not a, is it possible na palagi mo silang kasama? I don't think so, right? Mm. So she's got to learn. The problem is, <clears throat> that's where it's going to be difficult because mm. you don't want her to think that you love her less, correct? Yes. Yes, that's, that's, that's it. Thinking, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I. Uh, can I suggest something? And yes. this is yes, not please. like firsthand experience because I have yet to experience that. But my brother in law, he has two daughters and he takes them out on dates individually. So when, when he's about to take, like, let's say the younger one out, he tells the older one, okay, next week it's our turn. Yeah. So this you week know, it's going to be your like, sister, but next week it's our turn. Okay. Oh, that, 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 right? That, thought of taking turns yes. is so important because it's, it also affects traffic. People <laughs> don't know how to take turns. You know, no, yes. but I, I'm serious about this. These are the realities that mm-hmm. we have to teach our children that it's not always, we, we can't give them all that they want. The, the, yeah. the world does not revolve, revolve around, around them, them or their needs <laughs> or their desires. And, you know, it starts here eh, when they're young. No, yeah. You can't teach them this when they're a teen, when they're teenagers. Yeah. It will be harder. Their m- brains are easier to mold right now. Yeah. So I think I like Ricky's idea. Mm-hmm. Tell tell her, okay, I'm going to take your younger brother, younger sister. Younger, uh, the older sister, I won't take her. Yeah. Yeah, but you're taking the old, the younger sister. The younger brother, yeah. Okay, younger brother. But next week, yeah, it's so she learns to wait. She learns patience. Mm-hmm. She learns how to take her turn. Yeah, and it will just be difficult at the beginning, and it gets easier and easier. Like, I do when they with, understand it. I do yeah. this yeah. with my kids all the time. I have three, and I think um like I come from a family of five, mm. so it wasn't all the time that you know my mom would take me to the mall or my dad would take me to the mall. So yeah. we had our you know we. 
it was Mm-mm. palitan yeah. talaga. So my mom would always explain to me, and I think this is also uh, an important thing that you have to say. You know what? It's not I'm leaving you not because I don't love you, yeah, but because you know it's your brother's turn. Mm. But I, st- you, you just have to let them know how you feel. Yes, don't make them feel that you rejected them. Don't yeah. make them feel that they're left out. But mm-hmm. just explain to them, like even if they're five, even if they're three, Mm-mm. I mean somehow their little brains will absorb yeah. that later on. But you also need to be firm. Yes. yes. Okay. Because you're the parent, so I know I know you're hurt, but you have to learn this. And when we go out, just you and me, we're also gonna have fun. Mm-hmm. So you know you have to be firm. Stick to stick to the plan, okay? Because I think dads are actually softer than moms. Yeah, I think oh, super. Oh, right. I love how yes. You yes. yes. <laughs> I agree. Uh, all right. Uh, Why is yeah, it? Thank you very much. Yeah. Hey, I hope yeah. we helped. I hope yeah. we helped a yeah. little bit. So much. Really, really. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you very much. And we're proud of you. Good Bye. job. It's 10.48 on the clock. <laughs> wow. Hey, um, the God. God. I There's know. a time thief. Wait, Crazy. let's say hi to a couple of people. Go Saying ahead. hi to Jackie Go, who's listening. And uh, people over www.magic899.fm. Um, saying hi to Kat Almarines de la Rosa, who Hello. says hi to her husband, Vince. Hello. And U- Unico. How do you say this? Unica? Unico? Unico. Unico. Unica. Unico. 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 Unico is a boy, right? No. What? Unico is... Only. Ah, okay. So only son. Okay. Unico, Unico, Iho. Iho. Uh, Rafa, who just turned two <laughs> last uh, month, saying hi also to Gianna Martin and to Nicole as well and to hi Marie. Guys. Hi, guys. Morning. Thank you very much for listening to Jane as well, to her office mates um, who are all watching us on our Facebook. We're live, by the way. <laughs> hi to Miss Tagle. She goes, listening to the mother show Mrs. while Tagle. breastfeeding my toddler. Add away. Yes. Add away. It's 1049. Um, we'll be talking. About um, how do we label it? We'll be talking about <laughs> how do we label it? We're, we'll um, be talking. We'll be talking. Yeah. Skin. Yes. Skin, skin issues. Skin issues. If you have any skin I'll tell issues my story. or oh skin my issues of your little ones, we will address that in a bit. But first, some Nora Jones. Yes. Two thousand and two. A song called Come Away With Me. Hi, Mon. Good morning. Welcome to The Mother Show. My name is Ricky. I'm Andy. This is Delamar. This is Magic 89.9. Follow me. Everything is all right. I'll be the one to tuck you in at night. And if you That's want Uncle Cracker leave, from 2001. A song called Follow Me at 1056. Welcome back to The Mother Show. My name is Ricky. I'm Andy. This is Delamar. And this show is brought to you by Elika Itchy Rashes. It might be eczema. Ask your doctor. Ask about Elika. All right, so, you know, as mothers, as parents, mm-hmm. when our children are going through something, it kind of makes us panic. The no, especially, especially, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, the skin is the biggest organ that we have. Yes. Yeah. And once it's the skin that's affected, you kind of think, oh, my gosh, what's going on? Enough, what is this? You know what, R- Ricky earlier was saying that Calyx was teething, right? And yes. I forgot to mention earlier that it's been so frustrating for me because I don't know it's if it's the weather that's affecting, but, you know, Olivia and me, actually, we have, oh. like, skin asthma. Okay. And it's so hard to like so- sometimes like she can't sleep at night or she can't take a nap because all she does is really scratch everywhere. Oh no. Okay, so yeah. But skin asthma is actually eczema or in in the Philippines we call it ex- eczema. E- eczema. 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 Yeah. So it's the same thing. It's the same right? thing. Okay. Actually, they were saying that skin asthma doesn't really exist as you know, it's a f- term that Filipinos have started to use. Yeah. But it's really eczema or ex- that's eczema. what it's that's what it's uh, called. Uh, and you know what? It's it's funny because not all moms are are aware are aware of what eczema is. Like um, early when when Calix was just a few months old, he would have like rashes by his neck area. Mm. So that, that that part where it creases. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I wasn't sure if what that it was. was considered eczema yeah. or if it was something else. Or so yeah, not not all moms yeah. are. are That's very why for me, like when when um, my. My sister-in-law from the States would say, oh, she has eczema. And I was like, no, she has skin allergies. No, she has eczema. Because, you know, we didn't really understand, understand. the definition. So right. basically, what I know um, and what I heard from my doctor, um, skin allergy or asthma of the skin is basically eczema. It's the same yeah. thing. It's um, the same thing. So, well, there are questions that might lead you yeah. to know if it is, okay? So... Y- you have to think. You have to uh, answer these questions first. Is it itchy and is it red? 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Olivia's? Yes. Yeah. All right. So does it recur? Like it goes away, yeah. then comes back. That's the frustrating thing. The feeling more it's gone. Okay, already. Na. okay na. Yeah. Maybe it's the weather or what. And then later after a month it's back. She so there are flare itching. ups. Yeah. Okay. Do do you know when it's going to flare up? Or there's <sighs> like specific things that happen? Like is it the weather? Is it? You know, it changes all the time. Like sometimes so you I can't thought, tell. Yeah, you really can't tell. I thought I thought it was okay. when she was sweaty, right? Or mm. sometimes I thought mm. um, when the when it was hot and cold, hot and cold, mm. the uh-huh, weather was right, weird. Right. So I thought it was that. So now and then and then now that the weather's okay, it's yeah. sunny. She still has again. So I don't know. It's really really so so two for two out of the four questions yeah. we're gonna ask you. I got Olivia two has two. Yeah, two for two. It's itchy and it's red and it's recurrent. So second, where is it located? Is it located on skin folds or creases? Yeah. Some of it is in the tummy area. Some some of it is behind the knee. Yeah, and that's some, a great, yeah, so. yeah. Or, oh. or yeah, the crook of the elbow. Yes. Like yours. So creases so, talaga. Yeah, uh, yeah creases, creases talaga. talaga. Where the skin meets other skin. Yeah. So Hassle. and then so check but then, no? Yeah, check so but then. Three, That's three already for me. All right, last <laughs> one is <laughs> Does Olivia have a personal or family history of atopic dermatitis, asthma or al- allergic rhinitis? Yeah, cuz I have And when I was young, I had asthma of the skin also. I oh, so, so you know. Yeah, I, so I, okay, yeah. that's the thing. Four yeses, it's time to go to your doctor. I know. Yeah, that's it. So and set an appointment with, the, with your doctor yeah. to see, you know, just to be sure. Because mm-hmm. here's the thing. If you don't know what it is, you can't manage it yes. properly. So you need to know what it is first. And that's where your doctor comes in. You yeah. kind of know, you suspect it is, but yeah. you need a confirmation from a professional. Yeah. So set an appointment with your, with your doctor and mm-hmm. ask, is this eczema, eczema, or what we know as skin asthma? But I like how we did that that eczema check. Mm. Just to help moms who don't fully understand what right. eczema is. It, it, it's good that you ask yourselves those four questions. And it's also very relieving to know that it is manage- manageable yeah. with proper treatment and, of course, with proper care. So you can ask your doctor about Elica. Um, Elica effectively relieves eczema itchiness, redness, and swelling with visible results, they say, within 24 wow. hours. Wow. Okay, you know, I got the package earlier on, Yo, so and I'm actually going to try it. And next week, yes. I'm going to update you guys. I'm going to even try it on myself. Do you, you have, should. Do you yeah. have? So you still have flare-ups. Yes. Oh, sabay ba kayo? Yes. Wow. I know. You're so in sync. Ang galing. No, it's frustrating talaga. No, but it can be frustrating. And you know, there's there's a little bit of stigma about mm-hmm. it because some people don't know what it is, so they think one, it's contagious. Yeah. Yeah. Or sometimes they think you're not, you know, you're not it's taking care of your child exactly. well enough. Yeah. But no, this is an actual skin condition. But if you want to know more about it, you can also visit Elika's Facebook page, mm-hmm. facebook.com slash Elika PH if you want to know more and also check pictures. Yes. Because as mothers, that w- that's what we do, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You go online. Ah, yes. And what, you click, what is this? Yeah, you Google yes. it and it's not all about all. No. You go to videos, you go to images. Yes. You go to symptoms, you go to cures, <laughs> I've actually done you go that to conditions, everything. everything. And you yeah. go to the forums yeah. and ask other mothers. And then you get more paranoid. paranoid. And you're like, no! That's why we want you to answer the four questions. Because you know, you're suspecting it, right? Yeah. yeah. But then a professional has to con- you know, to come to the conclusion and really tell you that what it is. Yeah. So, so again, you ask yourselves, you know, are, are the your four questions that you ask me, itchy okay. and red? Do they... You know, do they go and then come back? Are they located on skin folds or creases? And finally, do you have a personal or family history? Yeah. You know what? Maybe someone can relate to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yes. if you're listening in the car and you're also frustrated, because sometimes it also happens to newborns, right? And and when oh, they're newborns, I didn't know that. yeah. Like I have a friend, like Mm-mm. um, the the Super baby's red. cheek was so red, and sometimes you're scared to put. On like medicine on your yeah. baby, right? Ointment or whatever. But this one, I know it's very safe. So if you're experiencing something like that, or the, if your kids here, are a little older, yeah. The, but that's rosia. Like it's it's a different kind Acne of thing. rosia. Yeah, that's different. I'm not sure. But Chrissy Teigen and John Legend's daughter, she has that. See, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> celebrity. Yeah, I know. <laughs> celebrity Luna. reference. Right. There. Oh, yeah. so it could happen. Because mm-hmm. this is not a crease. But then, Kawawa. Oh, oh, yeah. It, 
it, it just can show up anywhere, basically. Anywhere. Six three one zero eight nine nine. I know a lot of moms can there, relate. There, see a lot. <gasps> Magic, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Janelle. Hi, and Janelle. Welcome to the show. Hi. Um. Well, actually, I have that. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do you call? It? I have eczema, and okay. my child. When she was born, well, she has the same on her face. And I used the Elika on her face, and it worked really oh, wow. Wow. Oh, Andy. Oh, nga eh. Yeah. Okay, purchase. And since I have it as well, um, I used it a lot Hi, before. Hi, Bailey! <laughs> Kitty! And, so it worked um, for you also? Yeah, I have eczema. And, <laughs> um, and when I... And when I was using it, um, actually, I was advised by my doctor to not use it all the time because um, you might get used to it. Mm. So eventually, when my body was, uh, I got older, I I was still using it, and then I was immune to it. And then I was given different medicines to take as well. With okay. It. Ah. So, but I, w- I want to know, like, what did it make when when it started mm. appearing on your daughter? Mm. What was what was your reaction? Were you afraid? Were you panicking? I was panicking because I don't want her to have what I have. Yeah. Yeah. May may stigma ba? Like when you would go out, did did, did you feel like there was a reaction from people when you had flare ups? Mm-hmm. Um, not really because uh, it's hidden. Oh, well, you, most you learn to hide it if you have. Oh, yeah. You wear long sleeves. You wear wow. a jacket like what I'm wearing. Yeah. You yeah. know those yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. You wow. you learn from experience because when you have it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's okay. agree. So, so you, it's a daughter, no? It's your daughter who has it also. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So this Pero, summer I, she had this bungang arrow and it got really worse and I had to bring her to the derma. Yeah, but that's what we that's what we mean. Talaga yeah. for mm. different kinds of uh, things that you find on your children's skin that you know is not normal. Yeah, you gotta go to the doctor. That's true. Because you need the proper uh, medication mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for. And for that to happen, you need to have the right diagnosis. Because yeah, it's a yung... professional. Uh, uh, professional. And as much as there's so much information online mm-hmm. of like what to do, home mm-hmm. remedies and all that, I think the b- doctor is still the best yeah, person nice. to talk to. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Say hello to your baby. I love your testimony. Now I'm like, know, energized to use it, even on myself. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so thank much. You. Bye. Oh, oh, no. Bye. Dr. Google. Oh, oh. Dr. Google, yeah. But sometimes, kasi, don't you get more panicked? Yeah, when, no, that's diba? the thing. Everything pops up. All these worst case scenarios. <laughs> I think you just have to filter. And then you just filter. It's totally and not that. And yes. you're worried over nothing. You know, I, I bet doctors are so infuriated yeah, yeah. with mothers who think they know better. Yeah. You know, diba yeah. Parang, and I know but, how moms are sometimes, diba, they text their doctor, Oh, I heard in Google. Yeah. Sabi ng Google, ganito, diba? <laughs> May email ako na yeah. nakuha na. Ano pala? <laughs> Yun pala. <laughs> no, but you also have to be discriminating because there are some some exactly. articles out there that are misleading. Do you yeah. know how easy it is to put information on the web and for yes. you know yes for it to look so real? Real mm. <sighs> moms, be aware, right? Be so aware. when in doubt, consult your doctor. Yep, because that's why they studied all those years. Yeah, ten years, man. <laughs> right? Oh, kung intermed sila, maybe yes. shorter, but they still went to <laughs> to get to where so they ask are. Ask your doctor. Eleven oh seven is the time. Magic. Hello. Hi. 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 What's up? Good morning. Hi. I just um uh want to share something about um the topic. Oh, you, oh what's your name? What's your name? My name is Ayan. Ayan. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, um, recently my youngest son was diagnosed with um, atopic dermatitis. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, it all started with just like, it looked like rashes on the folds of the skin and the creases as well. Uh. And it didn't uh, look normal anymore. And just like what you um, are talking about, it's he's always scratching. Mm-hmm. So I, I have my own pediatrician but I also believe that um, there are specific uh, doctors that you should go to for yes. um, things like that like if um, the coughing doesn't stop maybe ah. you should try consulting um, pulmonologist yes. so I took him to um, a derma it was referred also by 
<coughs> excuse me, by um, our pediatrician. And he was also given Elika, but um, it was mixed with... Um, is it okay to mention the name of the product? Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe yeah. not. Just to be <laughs> safe. Yeah. Okay, okay, go ahead. Ahead. So we were, we were prescribed with um, a medicine, a cream, mm-hmm. um, a topical cream. But it has to be mixed with another uh, cream. Siguro, I'll just uh, mention it off, off the air. Okay. okay. And it works. Oh, and, well, there yeah, you go. Yeah, it works. But um, correct me if I'm wrong as well, but... Um, Elica shouldn't be used for a prolonged period of time. Yeah, that's what the that's what the previous call actually. Said. Yeah, and also your doctor will tell you. Yeah, just how yes. long you should use it. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that's why we always say, you know, we can we can talk about it, but it's yeah. your doctor that tells you what it is uh-huh. and how long, how long you to have use it. To, yeah, yes. okay. that's right. That's correct. So for atopic dermatitis as well, it's better to always have the the skin moisturized. Like again, he was prescribed, and it's going to be like um, a routine already after taking a bath. Moisturize, moisturize, yes, yes. moisturize, and it's not just a simple or um, moisturizer, but it's actually a cream because cream is thicker than the usual yes. lotion. Yep, and yep. it's um, and even if like when they play, mm-hmm. they get um, powy. Yeah, it doesn't um, just. Uh, um, come off the skin so uh-uh. easily. Yeah, that's why they prescribe it. That's right. And also, I just want to confirm that the, the number four checklist, if it runs in the family, if mm-hmm. there's a history, uh-uh, more yeah. or less, your kid will you have You don't also. have to guess or it's not like rocket science why your kid has it. Yes. Uh-uh. Agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's not rocket science. Uh-uh. Have, rocket uh, science. You shouldn't be yes, surprised. I have urticaria and I have allergic rhinitis. And at the uh, husband's side of the family, they have bronchial asthma and my, my husband he mm. has um, eczema oh, for the okay. longest period of, yes for the longest period of time and it's just sad to watch them have and the same me, one right like, yeah. right now I'm sorry I, excuse me for my voice I'm it's fine <laughs> I, I'm having a terrible allergy okay. right now wow. my allergy yeah. I have allergy so so it, it runs in your family yes right. that's why when we went to the derma she was just smiling and she was like, it's not rocket science. Okay, I alam na. I alam na kung bakit. Yeah, just yun yun. Hey, I like your doctor. Yung formula mo at ni husband. Yun na yun. Yun na yun. Yeah. In other words, you're to blame. Oo nga. Nakakaawa sila. Nakakaawa talaga. Yeah, but super. You cannot control something like that. It's in the genes. You know what? I know. Sisihin mo yung mga lolo't lola. Kasi galing din sa kanila yun. Ay, sinabi ko rin yan sa nanay ko. Alam mo na, ikasagana mo to eh. Ikaw, ginasa mo sa akin. Tapos, napasok ko din sa mga anak ko. Nagsisihin mo. Oh my. Nakakaawa naman sila, diba? Kasi wala silang kalaban-laban. But I think it's really important then to talk about it. So that wala nang stigma. There's no like, you know, you you you. it's a it's an open problem that that people know how to address. And it's not contagious. Because some people, it's like, parang, ay, parang, ay, meron siya yeah. na din tabihan. Di ba, yes. may, may stigma nga na gano'n. Yeah. Ako sinit na uh, natatawa ako kanina kasi may iba pang mas worse na term yung iba. Pag yes. nakakakita sila ng oh, oh. skin allergies. Excuse yep. me for the term, they call it galit. Yes. <gasps> yes. 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 You know, yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, diba? Others. And, and you're also right that some people think that uh, lack of, it could be hygiene. lack of hygiene. Yes. Oh, yes. Right. It's not. It's not. It's not. Well, you know, there are mothers like you who who are well informed, mm-hmm. and you know, when you're well informed, you don't sweat too much. Well, yeah, that's right. figuratively, yes. <laughs> you probably sweat because we live in a tropical country. But I mean, you know, that's you right. don't sweat the small stuff, and you know what to give your your kid, right? Mm. Yeah. Well, thank you for calling thank us. You. Thank you you're so welcome. much. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. You and too. It's really nice hearing um, stories about moms as well. Actually, what I'm doing my household chores, I'm listening to the radio, and it's good that it's. A Friday, all my children are at school and I'm all alone at home. Yes, let's go. Bust out that red coffee. Let's make it a party. Yes, right. Coffee party. 
you for having me. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a good Thank you so much. Have you too. Too. It Say is bye. 1113. I like how she remembered the the eczema check. Yeah. She was like, yeah. number four. Yeah. Number four. No, but you, you know what? It's also history. nice for people to share these because yes. sometimes you just hide it the by your yeah. frustration. Oh, and you, you feel better. Yeah, I kind of feel better. Because you know that I'm not alone. Yeah. I think that's it. That's so, perfect. you know, it's and that's what, no, that's, <laughs> that's why we're doing yeah. this yeah. really to inform a lot of mothers and, you okay. know, not just information, but what to do about exactly. that information. Exactly. So itchy rashes, it might be eczema or eczema or skin asthma, mm-hmm. as you know, we, we come to know it now. Mm-hmm. Ask your doctor, ask about Elica. Elica is available in Mercury Drug and other leading drugstores nationwide. Mometasone furoate is the generic name of Elica. If symptoms persist, consult your doctor. It is 11.4. 14 on the clock. We'll be back with more of the Mother Show. But first, more of the good vibes. Some Faith Hill from 1998. My name is Ricky. I'm Andy. Delamar. This Kiss is the title of this song. You're tuned in. It's Friday Madness on Magic 89.9. I don't want another heartbreak. Requested by Delamar, 2006. (laughs) Can I, just, can I just say, when I first started radio, this was like the number one song. Oi! Yeah. Do the math. <laughs> How about now? I want to say hi to my handsome brother in law um, and owner of Rufos and the daddy of Sky. Oi. Saying hi to Paul Reyes. But Rufos kind of I, he just, he, I really had to ru- Stop say that. read the I, introduction. I was about to yes. say, I was going to ask you, like, <gasps> I did know. he ask you to say it's that? It's okay, he's going to send us Rufos anyway. Yes. yes. <laughs> it is. Well. Brunch, brunch. Well, that's time, our brunch breakfast, time. actually. Next week. That's our breakfast. Mm. No, in um the web series I do. <gasps> really? <laughs> yeah, we, oh, wow. Yeah, because there's yeah, a. What's your web series? Every Wednesday. Ah. But I'm, we're ending the first season already. So. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What is it called? Um, straight up. Straight up. Straight up with Delamar. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you get it. Sovereign straight cool up. Cool. cool. I don't mom. think I'm a cool. No, kayo yung cool moms. You remember? asked for Fallout Boy. <laughs> I was playing Nora Jones. <laughs> Delamar asked for Fallout Boy. I know. That's why I asked. I was like, you really like <laughs> rock, huh? Alternative <laughs> music. I'm going to play the card. I'm going to play the card. Any requests, goodness. guys? Some Hi. Paul Cole? No, yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some yellow card. Uh, 11.23, reminding you that you can get in touch with us several ways. One is through our phone number. It's 63108.99. Yep, and you can also listen online. It's www.magic899.fm. And you can tweet us at Mothershow899. We'll be picking up the phone lines later on if you have any questions. Um, hey, you know what? Why don't we do it now? Okay. Magic, Hello. Hello. Hi, who's this? Hi. Celine. Celine? Celine. Jeline. Yes. I just called earlier. Okay. Oh, Jeline, yes. Hi. Hi, please say hi to Gabby, Gwen, and Hunter. Okay, wait, hold on. Jeline, can you lower your, your radio or you can turn it off? Okay. Okay, this is just echo. Aren't you Chicha Rooms? Chicha yeah. yeah, this is Chicha Rooms. Yeah, it's your Twitter account. That's so cute. Yeah, Chicha so Rooms. <laughs> Parang I got hungry. You know what? You know Chicha Rooms. Next Friday. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, we're talking about rashes. Yes. Uh, my kid had rashes last week, mm-hmm. and then he was not, he has no fever at all, nothing. It's all over his body, and then. I, I was worried because his ate got dengue uh, earlier. Oh. So, um, I, I, I didn't, I, I don't know what to do. And then I, I, I went to the PTA and then the PTA said it's just allergy to viral. Yeah, I think there's that's no going fever. around. Oh, there's yeah. no fever. No fever and then uh, just rashes all over and it's not itchy, but it's bothering just on his face already. Mm, yeah. yeah we, we gave them antihistamine and it's gone. Right. Mm. That's really yeah, it's yeah, don't lie, anti-histamine lang. Right. But, oh. but you did see the doctor, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's important. Because we don't want to give them exactly, exactly. Any time, any anything. Oh, oh. They have to be checked. Yeah. Don't oh. self-medicate. Good decision, mother. Yes. <laughs> we have to decide for them well. Yeah. Because they cannot decide for themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the other thing or like Yung pag tinawag ka na, oh, you look like a nanay na. So, well, how would you expect me to look like a dad? <gasps> <laughs> yung, um, they're expecting you to be slim, 
Yeah. Oh, this is a good the topic. Same, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, but uh, I had three children already, so what do you expect? Right. So, parang ang hirap po maya pag mami ka na, and then yung belt, yung very fat na, I don't know how it goes. I I feel but, you so yeah. much. This is I a yeah. this is a different topic. Yeah. But Andy, Andy, Andy got it back, right, Andy? No, there's still some fats that don't want to leave. Uh, yeah. But uh, then I saw her post one time that she was wearing soupy. Oh, nga, I trying, saw that. Trying to wear two pieces, ha? With high waist, yan, ha? But you know what? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Two pieces. Eh. I, I digress. But you know, Ricky, that that uh, po- photo you posted on IG, mm-hmm. you attended a wedding? Yeah. I love that blue dress on you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't look like a mom. I bought that off the rack. <laughs> Are you no. serious? That's <laughs> off the rack. I should have I should have gotten it in all colors. They had it in forest green. They had it in cream. You know, this should be our topic next week. Like, yeah. You know, fashion, how to dress up, maybe about weight even, right? Yeah, yeah. just like, you know. Uh, like this one. No, I, I like I like how she said, Mukha kang nanay. No, because you know. Mukha kang nanay. Eh, ano ba? Gusto mo kang tatay. Dude, I love that though. <laughs> Don't you live for those days that you're just, you haven't bathed and, you know. <laughs> and your hair's like, you know, smell like laway. You, and, you know, yeah. no, and not just laway. You smell like oh oh, spoiled oh, milk. The breast milk, yeah. 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 Right. I breastfeed Once my son milk. until now. He was three. Yeah. He's turning three on in this October. He's big na. Mm. So when you go to school, should I breastfeed you pa? Yeah. You should practice no more now, mommy. Oh. Okay, That's cute. You know, uh, I you know I've had three kids as well, and it's really hard to yeah. to lose mm-hmm. the weight, especially you're getting older. So uh-huh. it's a double whammy, the metabolism right? Metabolism is going down. Yeah, yeah. Metabol- yeah. And, but and you, it's all substituted with coffee. Well, you know, for me, it's like because I do. I don't really get affected when people tell me you're fat because it's true. Mm-hmm. I just don't like the idea that, and this is why I agreed to do the mother show mm-hmm. even after having retired, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. is to, because when people say, "Oi, mukha ng nana," there's an underlying thing that you have passed some sort of expiration. It, why? Why is it so <laughs> negative? It's yeah, no, but it, this is right? yeah because yeah, it's no? a. Yeah. Yeah. Well, being nana is a long-term yes. relationship, and somehow and you've lost your, yeah, uh-huh. and, and you've lost your asim. Yeah, yeah, and because I think there's a lot of uh, we attach youth with women more than we do with men. Yeah, so they're not mm-hmm. as subjected to that as we are. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, for me, uh, have you tried giving birth? Mm-hmm. Have you tried be your innards being eased out? Mm-hmm. Literally, mm-hmm. it's getting pushed up. It's getting pushed down. This is what our bodies as women go through. So yeah. I don't think I'm ever going to look like I did at right. 20. And you imposing that on me is unfair and I am i won't have it. Oh my yeah. Why don't you try? Why don't you try? Why don't you try? So and you barely have time for yourself anymore because yeah, yeah. oh my gosh, Mio. Are, yeah. are we all crying? Oh, are we all crying? Not, not yet, not, <laughs> not yet, not yet. Uh-uh. No, no yeah. but we feel you, and I, I think people are gonna say that over and over and they over and over. They will agree with us when you say, uh, "Honey, you haven't taken a bath yet. Uh, you stay here and then take care of the kids." <laughs> Let's see if you have five minutes to shower. Yeah. Five Aww. minutes to yourself. Have you ever and had having, having three kids is like a juggle. You, you don't I can you, you go for the other one and then the other two are fighting and then oh yes uh, messing around and then mommy I spilled the juice. I'm sorry. Yeah. Change my clothes and everything. Have you ever had this moment that? Uh, you're you're in the bathroom doing yeah. your thing, mm-hmm. yeah. and in comes your toddler, not a care in the world. Like hi, mommy, picking you're up a conversation you had five minutes ago. He wants, he wants me out. Or or something uh, like I, I or remember when you think about together. Say, but it, it's like uh, he's you he found the treasure. Like, mommy, I meal fresh meal. Yeah, you, you know what yeah, I told my kids? Moment. I told I introduced the 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 concept of privacy. Yeah. Yeah, when they I think I should do that. Yeah. Oh, you know, mama needs privacy. Uh-huh. So now Cooper uses on it on me. Because we share bathrooms, <laughs> he right? And he's, he's there doing his thing. Uh-huh. And I barge in, getting ready. 
And he pushes me out. Mom, I need privacy. No, no way. No, way. Exactly. <laughs> He's the one who needs it. More than I am. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm up. I'm privacy. I'm going to use against you. Yeah. I know. Hey, thank you for calling us. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Bye. It's 11.31. That's fine. But I know what you mean. Like, Because Olivia's privacy. at that point also where, you know, I'm taking a bath. I'm showering. He's like, Mama, you have shampoo on your hair. Like, she starts a conversation. Mm. Like, as much as they say, you know, I'll shoo her away. Like, yeah, you know, there's toys in your room or, you know, my sister's there trying to play with her. But then she's just there with me, like and watching me take a bath. So, so and she's just like, wait, wait. I'm trying to rush. And so she sees you like, you know, yeah. oh, natural. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, natural. Not a stitch yeah. of clothing. Until no. I said, baggy because a girl. Girl because a girl. Yeah. yeah. The, the question is different if it's a guy. Yes. yes. The boys. How what are you going to do? <laughs> what age do you, you know, make them stop? I should Looking ask you, you because you already have Cooper, mm. right? You're like, Mama, what's that? Hard. Right? Isn't yeah. that a, and and that's a pretty I know tough he, question? Because he sees his thingy. Yeah. yeah. He sees his brothers and his dads, right? And then here I am, and I don't look anything <laughs> like that. So is this a job for Tyler then, not you? I don't know, because my feeling is I want him to see... To have a well-rounded view of what a woman's body is. Mm-hmm. So he he's going to see all of those, you know, bikini-ready bodies yeah. on billboards mm. and magazines, on mm. TV. This is real life. <laughs> <laughs> I represent no, real life. Is- <laughs> no, but at what age do you make them stop? Right? I, think, I think yeah. that's the question, especially if you have a guy. Mm. Because is a it like boy. five years old? Is it seven? Is it nine? I think when they're awkward and you are, it's time to stop. So that differs. Yeah, because yeah. it differs from mother to children. Right? It differs. Ika, what do you think? Siguro now, when I get home, I'll be like, up. Oh. <laughs> turn it's away. Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Ten <laughs> months. Up, 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 up. Close your eyes. Do you, do you undress in front of your, your son? No. But I tried it recently because um, I, I couldn't hand him off to anybody else and I had to get ready. So I just I just put him down on the floor in the bathroom and I was just changing, and he was just watching me and I, I was think like, he's oh, still this so is young. He's still so young. He's ten months. Oh, yeah. Nga, yeah. So he's just there, you know, looking at the yeah. mirror he and still playing doesn't with his know reflection. what. Yeah, yeah. 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 So alapa, I'm yeah. not yet there. So I'm gonna get tips from you, Del. Don't Wait, ask me. I you don't know. There are people know. calling though. Side. I kind of want to know. I want to know what age. Magic hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Who's this? Uh, this is Claire. Hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Um, about your topic, I'm not a mom yet, mm-hmm. but my mom is a, um, she specializes in developmental psychology and like Ooh. early childhood and all that stuff. So she came across this research that uh, boys who are used to seeing their moms in the nude, like on natural, they grow up to be more affectionate and respectful towards <gasps> women. Really? I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. I was doing it, but I'm doing it right. It's all okay. free. Yeah. Hindi naman siya inappropriate. According to yung mga research na na nakita niya, yun nga. It's uh, it helps men develop this um um a greater respect for women as they grow older. That sounds right. good. That sounds yeah. That's a good thing. So yun yun dang na share ko lang. Hey, thank you, Claire. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. But there's really this no, is, okay. there's really no, uh, no underestimating intuition. Like yeah. the things that you think is right for your child. Yeah. You find out that research could actually, back you know, you back, back you up. up yeah. yeah. No, but also in our home, like uh, when we, when I still lived with my family mm-hmm. and we were in the old house, we would share one big bathroom. And Shepherd, you just walk in. Mm. Nobody really locks the door. Mm. So, and I have one brother, mm-hmm. and we're all girls, right? So sometimes we just change in front of him, and mm. we don't care anymore. Mm. So he's the one that looks away. Mm. I mean, like if he sees it, like, like yeah, on the side yeah, yeah, or the corner, yeah. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. But I think like he's more. I. It's true. Like he's more respectful of uh-huh. women. Like he's more gentle. He's mm. more. I don't know. Because, because yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He has 
sisters. I think that's the upbringing. Because my my mother in law, she tells um the the yaya of Calix all the time na, you know, don't don't like oh, parang hubat ka, parang ganon. Yeah. Don't 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 Shame. wag wag mo lagyan ng yes. yes, parang agree. yeah. So if so agree. like let's say he walks in, don't try to like oh my gosh, wait, I'm a no, you're Uh-oh. not supposed to see me like this. Right. Wala. Feeling ko it just has to be normal because this is it's how, a normal thing. Yeah, yeah make it a normal thing. Because malice will find its way yes. during puberty. Yes. So and let them know. have their chil- yeah. childhood. Yeah. <laughs> he'll know that it's something to be ashamed of. Yeah. He'll know that it's something that you should cover up. And yeah, I think that's important also talaga. Yeah. Who's Just not around. right now. Let them have their childhood. Yes. It's, okay. it's so funny because Olivia, she does. Uh, she says bomba. Mm. <laughs> so she'll walk around. I also. Diba? So she'll bomba, walk around and she'll dance. She goes like bomba. bomba. <laughs> I have so yes. much videos and it's just so funny. As in, every time she takes a bath, she just walks outside yeah. in the sala and she goes, she just dances. Yeah. But yeah. But it's cute, eh? It's at cute, that age. Yeah. At that age. But I love that you add that. <laughs> but Shepra, when she's 15, <laughs> no, you know, no. Wala oh, na. Oh. Wala na. So the, I think it, it depends talaga on age. How and the household, the, the atmosphere, like you said, like Andy said, in their household, yeah. five sisters, you know, undress. In front. So that's still okay, but uh, it's your brother who turns away already. Yeah, that's intuition. Yeah. <laughs> I intuition. respect that. <laughs> galing, galing. It's 11.37. Let's find out who else is calling. Magic, hello? Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah, this is Migs. Uh, Hi, first time caller in the show. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Congrats to you. Uh, anyway, uh, regarding the topic, no, uh, actually, it's kind of funny and maybe weird, no? I grew up with uh, a single mom, with my mom, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, no, I, when I was a kid, she would, you know, dress up in front of me, like, as in butt naked, yeah. like, and it didn't affect me whatsoever. I mean, I'm 30 now. I mean, or so you say. Scars, so <laughs> or so you say. Wait a minute, Mix. I mean, we don't know you. Yeah, yeah. Mix. We we need to, uh, for your girlfriend or wife to corroborate that you're normal. <laughs> Who says you're normal? No, no. Well, she she's very in love with me, so I guess. No, I, love I love that. that. But maybe you, that's a sign that there's something wrong with her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, we appreciate nah, nah, that. No, nah, nah, it's okay. Uh, so, so uh, I lived with my tita then. She, uh, she has a lot of sisters. Don't tell me your tita mm. would also like dress up in front of you. I don't think there's anything negative that came out of it. Yeah. Mm. You know, good for you. Uh, I have a question, Mix, and this might be a, yeah. you. You you okay. reserve the right to not answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever? Collect magazines, those types of magazines. No, when I was a kid. Yeah, so online lang. Why would I spend? Why would I spend? Galeng, Mix, you are one smart guy. Ang galeng, ang galeng, ang galeng. Yeah, uh, no, because I agree with the research of the ano nga yung sinabi ng girl earlier. Yes. Uh-huh. Kasi I'm a doctor then, eh, so. Okay. <gasps> You're a doctor. That, uh, what is your yeah. um? What's your yeah? What what's your specialization? Uh, specialization. Specialization. Sorry. I'm I'm opta ophthalmology. Oh, okay. oh. Nice. Yeah, and then my wife or my girlfriend was wife. to be wife is uh, derma. Nice. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Lots, lots of money there, huh? Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. Anyway, all right. Congratulations. Thanks, Mix. Thanks, Thanks Mix. Mix. Thank you so much. <laughs> Looks like he turned out to be a, you know, right? a and doctor. And really slippery when you ask yeah. him like many questions. Magic, hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. Who's this? Good morning. This is Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. Welcome to all the right. show. Hi. Hi, Miss Andy. This Hi. is Delamar and Miss Ricky. Hi. I'm so happy that you derived with this kind of show. It's very informative mm-hmm. for those first time. I'm actually I'm a mom, a single mom of two boys. Wow. wow. Yeah. Two and boys. and may I just ask if someday maybe you can discuss so you, we will be much educated Excuse about me. the benefits of be or what can a single mom can get? Can we get a discount or something? Say that again. A, a discount, discount on yeah yeah. What are the benefits being a single mom? Because I guess um the DSW they are offering like seven additional leaves for the single mom who are working. Mm. Oh really? Single mom or a dad? Okay. Oh okay. You mean in terms of law, legal? Yeah, yes yes. Okay. Because okay. parang it's not yet clear. Parang ah, they were saying, yes. Parang they were saying that they will be given like for basic needs of the kids. They will be giving like um parang twenty percent discount. Parang ganun, pero it's not yet parang ano, approved. Okay, so um, all right. So we need to talk to a lawyer. Maybe yeah. it's um, it's 
it's a bill that has been passed but not enacted as a law yet but it's being discussed um yeah we'll consult a lawyer yeah that's mm. a good topic yeah, that's we'll a research good about topic. that too yeah. thank you. you can yeah 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 again congratulations to the to the boss behind this show marami pong salamat Aww. thanks station guy I hope station guy yeah. heard that did he hear yeah, that, that? yeah that's that, that station guy thank you yeah. Paul. thank you so much right. for thank the call you, thank you have a great day guys happy Friday happy, happy Friday, Friday. It's 11.41. That was nice. And it's just so nice when, when people say that, you know, because mothers are being represented on the FM band, yes. which they haven't been for years and years. Mm-hmm. And that's why this kind of show, and we're not just saying this because it's us. Mm-hmm. It could be other mothers sitting where we are sitting right now. Yeah. And it would still uh, it would still do the job of, you know, making motherhood more acceptable. Yes. I mean, it is acceptable, except that some of our issues mm-hmm. are so undiscussed. We don't talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we just don't talk about it. And it's it's interesting because some of our issues, they they don't just relate to fellow moms. They relate to non-mothers as Galing. well. Yeah. Um, my, my cousin who's listening at the Trika, she, she goes, tawang-tawa kami ng friend ko. So far, your to- your topics are relatable to non-mothers. Oh, Aww, that's nice to know. <laughs> she goes, <laughs> really? You should have seen us last Friday when we ended up touching our boobs because you guys mentioned one was bigger than the other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember that? And we were all yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what? Everyone what? was like cupping themselves. <laughs> so yeah, it's Speaking funny. of, get a mammogram also. Yeah. Right? Yes. Sometimes Be we safe. forget. Be mm-hmm. safe. Take care of yourselves. Hey, so many people are calling. Magic hello. You and Andami. Not <laughs> that one. <laughs> Saying hi to Jaffy Gutago who's listening. Hello. Hey, Jaffy. Hello. Hello. Hello! Hi! Who's this? This is Celine. Hi, Celine. Hi, I've been wanting to call. No, I've been trying to call since the first episode. Uh, it's good to be able Woo-hoo! to finally get through. Yes! Yay! Good job! Thanks! Yeah, well, well about the topic, mm-hmm. um, exam, exam on? Yeah, that. You can say it anyway. My, my, my pedia always referred to it as skin asthma, and she's given me and my kids who has it mm-hmm. um, what they call this it's a cream that has steroids get rid of the redness and the itch yeah. yeah and I'm afraid of continuing to use it because they only say you can only use it up to 7 days at a time mm-hmm. yeah so it, it's been but, and it's been very very irritating for me and for the kids because when it's hot it's itchy uh-huh. it flares uh-huh. up yeah. when it's cold it flares up yeah when they eat too much Chicken, it flares up. Yes, yes. I've heard that too. So, or peanuts really? also. Peanuts. peanuts. Oh. Yeah, yes, that's wow. right. So, um, and you can't really not give chicken to kids. You know, like kids can fight chicken. It's like... It's yeah, incredible. they're made for each other. <laughs> yeah, so having heard of... I've heard of Elika, but now that you said that it can be used for that, I'm going to try it. So thank yeah. you very much. Tell us how it, how it how it's no, yeah. yeah. You and Andy will be on the same journey because uh, she's gonna try as well. She's gonna try it on <laughs> yeah. Olivia and her child later. Yeah. <laughs> and Thank you. that four things, the four questions. Yes. Yeah. All yeses for me. I have rhinitis, I have asthma. Oh, there you go. Everything is Yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank and you so much, Celine. Congratulations for your show. I'm so happy. Now, finally on air. Thank you, Stephen Guy. Yes. Hey, okay, we've got an answer already for the question. Was okay. it Lorraine who asked about the the seven day leave? Okay, okay. 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 So, it, thank you to Miss Ruth who said I'm Solo Bilis. Parent Act uh, RA eighty nine seventy two. Mm-hmm. The Pabile Guy says yes. This is implemented already. A valid single parent ID must be presented, and you have um, special leave for single mothers. It's seven days extra. Seven extra days for single mothers. Ooh. The whole year. Yeah. Okay. So whatever is that is allowed by law, you have seven days extra leaves, but you must have a single parent ID. Oh. So that's the law. Okay. So if you can present that. Seven extra days? Seven, one week. Better than nothing. How do you get that yeah. ID though? Well, the government has to, has to uh, okay. issue that. I don't know what government agency will issue issue that ID, but you have to get it. An extra hmm. week. Thank you so much. Alamang talina ng callers. I know. And it's fast. And the, like the response the on Twitter. People, on yes. Every, on Twitter. Thank you guys. Thank you very much for helping us out. Magic, hello. 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 Whoa, hello. hello. That was me. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. 
Who's Good this? Good morning. Finally, I made it. You did. <laughs> Congratulations. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. I have a one-year-old daughter named Ezra. Wow. Ezra. Hi, Ezra. Nice name. Yeah. yeah um, regarding the topic, mm-hmm. yeah, my daughter has been diagnosed with skin asthma previously. So with that, um, she was advised not to eat eggs. Yes, yes. eggs and also. Yeah. Well, Trigger chicken. Eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and they had to change. Uh, we had to change her milk mm. to HW or hypoallergenic. Oh, yeah. okay, wow. Yeah, uh, now she's doing well though. And then um, from my side, however, it's also about skin. Mm-hmm. Um, just last week we were on a family reunion, and I have a tattoo. So, um, do you have any tips on how I can explain why I, why I, well, uh, about? Tattoos, how okay. you explain it to, to your kids. children. Okay, hold on. Show of yeah. hands, the mother show, Ricky, Andy, and Del. Which one of us is tatted up? I'm not. Me. I'm not. Oh, Me. You are? Yeah. No! Oh, this is so <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> Where? Where? Yeah. Where? Sorry, sorry. Who Andy, Andy, it's Andy. Andy, Andy. I have. Andy. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, a I surprise. Have. Interesting. I'm excited. So, how? How do I? Ooh. Andy's like, Cobra you know Mom. <laughs> She's what's the entire yeah. sleeve? What's Ella? the story behind this tattoo? I don't want to say the story. Oh, no, I it's know a different it. story. She's gonna say it off air. It'll just be for. Uh, <laughs> it's a secret enough for me. But um, when Olivia sees, you can't really see it. Like when I'm in clothing, oh, really? yeah, yeah, you can't really okay, see it. Okay. So when she sees it, and when we take a bath, she's like, "Mama, you have a stamp." <laughs> That's what she says. Yeah. So I'm not yet in that area where I have to explain. Is it small? How small yeah, is it? Small lang talaga. Small lang siya. Sorry, I question. Stamp talaga. When you got it, ooh, I was young. I was what, very young. Was your mom? No, my mom didn't know. My mom got mad at me there. And up to now, I think my dad doesn't know. Pa. <gasps> yeah. So until now, know. I didn't know about it. Would you allow Olivia? No, no. So I actually th- want to have it removed. So I maybe in the next few years or when I have free time, I'll actually have this tattoo removed. Cause yeah, it's also hard. So you know what? If you figure out how to explain to your kid, because mine is small lang, it looks like a stamp. Mm. So I just be like, yeah, mom has a stamp there. So how about you? Uh, How how big is your tattoo? Is it big or? Um, it's quite big. It's on my right shoulder. Whoa! So you can see it whenever I wear a sleeve list. So, hindi siya right papa now, my, my script <laughs> is uh, it's it's a form of art. Okay. It's, it's just drawing, and <laughs> it will eventually come off. So for now, that's my explanation. Mm. Well, what's your tattoo well, like? Is it I like a, a? Sorry, I'm. My question mm-hmm. is, you got tatted up. Are you scared that your son will do the same thing and you don't want him to get a tattoo? Is that what it is? Actually, uh, she's she my she's a daughter, she's a, a girl, yeah, uh-huh, your daughter. And uh, I don't just like Andy. I don't want her to okay. get worn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's this is it. like a yeah. yeah. So, uh, I, I, the walk the talk part is a challenge for yeah. me. Yeah, that's my why. gosh. That's why, there. You know, when I was younger, <laughs> you have to learn from mama's lessons. Doesn't so it you remind you of your own mother when she said that to you? Yeah. These are the lines our mothers tell us, and we wonder, yeah. why do you say that? Oh, because it's true. Because yeah. this is what your mother was once a daughter, mm-hmm. and they did what their mothers didn't want them to do. <laughs> My gosh. You know, somebody said... Grab it's a cycle. It is it a cycle. Is. Somebody we said co- oh. that you understand more about being a daughter when you become a mother mm-hmm. because you look back at what you did to your own mother yeah. when you become a mother yourself yeah so yeah, um yeah. all these rules I, sorry we can't help you <laughs> I, I got no <laughs> tattoo <laughs> no, but you know i like how you actually said it that yeah. it's a it's an artwork yeah, it's yeah. An artwork. right yeah. and it is it yeah. is yeah grab so hindi nga siya papa sang stamp yeah is it, is, is it like an animal or is it like a name or uh, what is actually, it? Actually, it's ornamental. It's symbolic. Uh, it's uh, it's a cross, a snowflake, a flower. It's a combination. Wow. No, no, it's a monster. <laughs> but you know, in as much as you, like you and Andy are on the same in the same boat, mm. you know, mm-hmm. with how you feel about tats now, you know, there are other parents out there who are not worried about that at all. Yeah. Like, yeah. all mm-hmm. you need to be is a certain age to decide if you're going to get inked up. Mm-hmm. But there's no regret for them. They like the tattoos. They wouldn't mind if their children would have it. Just not at a young age. Yeah. So, we just need to represent both sides. But mm-hmm. at least for Andy and mm-hmm. for you, 
you wouldn't want your daughter to get one. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if they yeah. eventually get one and they're, How, you know, uh, like, what mommy, you guess do, what? Right? I have a tattoo. It's I'd be their like, body. Okay, okay, <laughs> fine. Let's match tattoos. <laughs> yeah, but if ever she wants to get one, of course, I'll, I'll respect it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But you also have to show her how it ages. Because often yeah. what we don't know is that tattoos, much like... It uh, fades. Yeah, it fades. And you have to do it, I think, after like 10 years to just recolor everything again. Yes, a ah, retouch. Yeah, yeah like a, you have to re- Just like the microblading oh, on I your... I see this. Just I, like the microblading on your eyebrows. Yeah. Because that, that also gets retouched. I every every three five years. Yeah, three years. Three yeah. to five, depending what? on your skin type. And don't do it if you're colloidic. How do you know if you're yeah. colloidic? If your scar and other... Oh. oh. Mm, if your scar has a, you know, the red bump. It yeah. doesn't go away. doesn't mm-hmm. heal. Because I'm colloidic. So I'm afraid to do that thing. Wow. Okay. Damn okay. I'm damning uh, stuff. Thank you, thank you very much for coming. I love you. I love your show so much. I look forward to Friday Aww. because of you. Oh, thank you so thank much. You so much. <laughs> Call us again. Thank you. Yeah, Bye. of course. Thank you so much. It's 11.51. Nine more minutes. Can I have a one? That was fast. Nine was, was more fast. minutes. Final caller, and then uh, we'll wrap up the show. Magic, hello. Whoa. Hi. Yay, I made it. You did. Black caller. <laughs> yeah, I was listening uh, this morning since the start. So I ate a early lunch show. I didn't know the main topic. So what did you I just mo? follow. I didn't follow the main topic right now, but the last caller was talking about how to explain yung tattoo. Yeah. Right? So, coincidentally, meron din akong tattoo. Mm-hmm. And my daughter is uh, five years old. Mm-hmm. She has been uh, seeing my tattoos and she has been noticing them since siguro three. Okay. Uh, ganun. Okay. Tapos, I explained to her that kasi I feel that they would really understand if you really explain to them kung ano talaga yung meaning ng tattoos mo, uh, what it's for, it's for art. Mm-hmm. But for me, I explain it, it's like a picture. Okay. It's like a picture from your past, from your past experiences that you want to remember for the rest of your life. Wow. And, nice. And if, you, and if you want to get one, one day, sabi ko, I'll read to it, but it has to have meaning in your life. Nice. And you have to pay on your own. <laughs> but, and, and you have to say uh, it's really niya, painful. Then I was still a little bit of my friends because my daughter is so beautiful and so beautiful and so beautiful. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> so, so for me, I was kind of scared that maybe I'm so sobrang, sobrang supportive because of that. Aww. Ba? Uh, she'll save up na uh, ano pa lang grade 6 tapos she's gonna pay for it without me knowing it siguro hindi naman siguro no set, so, set, a, set a, an older <laughs> age set an older age like 18 yeah, or 21 18. siguro 18 if she wants it she, oh. for me if she's working now if she's working yeah, yeah. what if that's, she comes that's, home that's the proper siguro proper age mature enough to make her own disposition yeah own decisions kasi when you're you're going to school, may, meron, meron pa rin peer pressure yan eh. Minsan yeah. baka yung, yung classmate niya from college had one mm-hmm. and then they got drunk. Oh, let's have one and let everyone let's get that too. So, ganun. And it's so, not it's, it's, tough. It's, it's not just that. You also have to, the reason why a lot of things are not allowed at a certain age, like old, younger than 18, younger than 21, mm-hmm. is because we don't stop growing until that, <coughs> around that area. Yeah. So you don't want to do too much to your body until you finish growing so that if you're, because if you're young and you're going to get tatted up, yeah. your skin is yeah, going yeah. yeah, to yeah. stretch out. Yeah. I agree. That was one, one more interesting thing because I have a when you're young, uh, you do stupid things. There is a tattoo that I regret. I regret right now. There is a tattoo ng name ng ex ko. Yeah. Oh, so, now, oh, okay. so now five years old na siya, she's, she's starting to read. <laughs> Pag nakikita niya, hindi pa naman siya nagtatanong. Pero promise ko naman dun sa sa wife ko, mapapatungan mm. uh, ko na siya anytime soon. Alam mo dapat pinatungan mo na siya. <laughs> Before, uh, yeah, I think that's how they got their kid. <laughs> <laughs> I, sorry. sorry, got that. <laughs> sorry, nothing. <laughs> no, the wife, kasi, 
<laughs> was open-minded that when she met me, meron na ako noon. So, she accepted me for who I am. Nox. So, okay. Ilang Kaya letters? Sabi ko, fast is fast naman eh. Ilang letters Mag- yung name? Uh, mahaba. Sana nga, ang pangalan na lang ng ex ko, Anne. Para dadagdagan ko na lang ng Konda. Pero ilan, ilan letters? <laughs> <laughs> ilan letters in total? Ano yan? Ilang letters in total? Hindi ko na siya tinitignan eh. Siguro. No! So, is your wife listening? Showbiz? Is your wife if listening? She, if she is, if she is, she'll, she'll know it's me. Pero no problem naman. And we're, we're talking to the most wholesome radio show right now. The most informative radio Thank show. Thank you. Mom, mom, mom show, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> Tapos meron pala akong question, uh, moms okay. or girls. Kasi yung daughter ko, di ba sabi niya, sorry if it's taking too long, if in taking too much time of your show. It's okay, it's okay, Pero, go ahead. Ang, ang question ko, di ba, ang girls should be daddy's girl. Who Sabi, says that? Yeah. Should be? Yeah, mm. should be, right? No. But my daughter is really a mommy's girl. So, sabi ng, ng sister ko, who's also a mother, kasi na-miss ko daw yung imprinting stage, yung, oh. yung time na dapat kasama ko siya. Kasi I'm, I'm doing work, I'm doing sales sometimes. I, I go home really, 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 really late. Tapos mm-hmm. I just uh, get to have time with her uh, on weekends. Pero weekdays din naman kapag ka, ano. Pero ang factor kaya yun kung too, too long siyang nag-breastfeed. Kaya siya ganun yung attachment niya sa mom niya. It's not just the breast sorry it's not just the breastfeeding mm-hmm. it's the way you relate to your child and yeah. and a, a lot of what we call love is mm-hmm. really attention and time mm-hmm. yeah that's it and yeah. when you don't spend that much time you can't have you know you can't uh, have a, a certain level of bonding with your child mm-hmm. so they will feel far away from you yeah. distant from you so pero, pero, pero I, I get to spend time naman with her pero feeling ko kasi sometimes when I get close to her tapos I get close to her mom nagsisay ko siya parang ayaw niya na lumalapit ako sa mom niya tapos <laughs> you oh, know parang, what parang parang tingin sa akin ang tingin niya sa akin ano lang parang fear fear niya lang ako na kasama ng mom niya <laughs> no! no okay can I just share no call it <laughs> This is worse than Game of Thrones. I know. (laughs) So anyway, I can super relate to him because right now, um, I mean, Olivia's also a daddy's girl, but she's more of a mommy's girl. So when Olivia sees me and GP hugging each other Mm. and kissing, she would push her dad away. Aww. Yeah, as in celos kung celos. Like some, she sleeps in between us at night. So when I, when I, when I be the one in the center she she has to be the one in the center because she doesn't want me hugging GP or GP hugging me mm. so yeah <laughs> so I can relate and I oh, I feel like this is siya. I feel like all moms go through this is this a stage that, that these children go through but yeah. also the personality of the child because Cooper yeah. was never like that mm-hmm. but Parker is okay oh, Parker okay. is very possessive mm-hmm. like um, it, he, he's possessive with me mm-hmm. he doesn't want to share me with Cooper oh <sighs> But Cooper is not like that at all. Cooper is very steady. Like, mm, I love you, but I don't need to be clingy. He's they're like really that. different. Or maybe no. it depends on the age. The age, maybe. Yeah. I think also it's the, age. the personality. Okay. Because they're also exer- exerting. They're being territorial. Yeah. With the people they love. Or he's also kuya kasi. So he's he's learned to distance himself compared to um, the middle one, which is, you have a new baby, maybe, right? But also because his personality is really just a steady guy. Yeah, like okay. I see him being very old soul nga siya. Uh oh. But the other one is more, you know, more like Tyler, very yeah. um, volatile. <laughs> it's <laughs> a fun. Uh oh. Yeah, I think this also because you know how it's doubly hard for for fathers. Oh yeah, with their kids yes. to have, because and and you know my my husband Martin, he was very frank with me. He was like, you know, I don't, I I salute you for the four hours of continuous like entertaining that you do with Galax because I tried it and I couldn't get past so like thirty hard. minutes. Yeah. But they, they find it so hard to yes. entertain yes. these kids and yes. you know actually spend time with them. So I tell him when you come home. Don't touch your phone for the first 15 minutes and you pay all your attention yes. to Cadix because that's, that's what a good rule. Right? Mm. 15 just 15 minutes 
don't. The first 15 minutes, as soon as you get home, so that he knows that, you know, when you come home, you're there for him. Yeah. And you're not there for work. You're not there to, like, yes. we have no idea right? how much our gadgets take us away from yes. the people we love. It's really scary. So scary. Right? It's actually like, come to the point where Olivia goes, like, mommy, Take away your phone. Yeah, the like, ah, yes. she knows. She nah. knows already. Yeah. Or sometimes like when I'm when I'm actually like messaging and answering mm. emails, she'd mm. be like, Mommy, read to me first. She'll <gasps> get my phone and put it aside. And I was like, okay. But it's great. I think this is a sign. Yeah. yeah. But that's great. Because she's asserting herself like I'm more important than the gadget. Yeah. yeah. Martin voice noted me. This is probably him getting mad that I made <laughs> on him air, oh on <laughs> air. Yeah. On air. Should on I play air. It? Yes. That's be brave. Right. Good Ricky. luck, Martin. Be brave, Ricky. Martin. You didn't do anything. Uh... Wow, Gale! <laughs> hey, Mart. Okay, I think we opened up like a whole new topic. If we discuss this, we would eat into Susie's time. I so, know. Okay, okay. We're gonna reserve this <laughs> we for will, Friday. We will. But hey, um, we also want to let you know that you, have, if you have any topics in mind, you can let us know. We are all over social media. <laughs> yes. Uh, you want, go give your um your Instagram. Your oh yeah, Facebook. that's right. Go ahead. It's um it's at Ricky Flow for myself. Um, we are the, the show is on Twitter as well it's at mothershow899 yes and I'm also on Instagram and Twitter you guys can message me as well it's at Andy Manzano I'm on Instagram at Delamar Arias <laughs> yes and uh, yeah so if you have any topics um, uh, you know we have seven days I have a question I have a suggestion go for ahead all okay, go. can we have all our husbands <gasps> have like a, a voice clip that yeah! we air yeah. oh my gosh I like this Okay. I'll be so scared what Tyler will say. But can we just get uh, just one 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 Friday. <laughs> I'm thinking Stop about it. it. No, no, no censoring. Worry. No censoring. Are okay. So they have to send that voice file while we're on the show so we can't edit. Hey, I'm scared. Me Sikina. too. You did that to Martin just a while ago. Yeah, but that was risky. <laughs> I know. My palms are sweating. <laughs> That's why I was like cheering you on. Like, be brave. Because that was really brave. I don't think he'd brave. say anything bad anyway. Mart, so. isa pa. <laughs> pa. Send one more. Practice for like next week or the Send next one coming weeks. And a game? Sige. Game. Let's sige. Sige. Pag-usapan natin. Pag okay. But, but okay. Andy has to show us her tattoo first. Ah. <laughs> Can you not like spread it? You're on radio. You said it on know. radio. Oh. I know. I, I had to be open about it. Anyway, saying hi to my mother-in-law who's listening. Hi. Hi, hi. hi, hi Wawa. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Tita Daisy. It's 12.03. Um, we'll see you guys next Friday. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, once again, my name is Ricky. I'm Andy. This is Delamar. This has been The Mother Show. Frankie J to sing us out more than words right here on Magic 89.9. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Happy weekend. The mother of all shows is finally on The Magic. Hi, I'm Slick Rick. I'm Sam YG. And I'm Tony Tony. And we're the real mother... Why, but wala ko dyan. Sino ka? This is Jojo the Love Survivor. I'm the real mother... No, no, no. Not those kinds of mothers. We're talking about real moms. Hosting a show for moms and those who love moms. Ah, ayos mo kasi adlib mo. Inaamin mo kasi. The Mother Show. Hosted by FM Radio's most famous moms. Ricky, Andy, and Delamar. Every Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. On the station that gives you the most complete radio experience. Magic 89.9.